Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Mikey and in today's video, we're actually gonna be answering a question that I get very often on my Instagram and on YouTube. And that is essentially how I got a Bachelor of Science degree so young. So I actually graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Waterloo when I was 19 years old. And a lot of people have been asking me about this, so I decided I would actually make a video on it. Now, if you wanna hear it, you know, long story short and you don't have much time, then essentially the whole idea is that I skipped a grade and I got a Bachelor of Science degree, which is a three-year degree, and my birthday is late. So that's the whole idea of it. But if you're interested to learn more about the whole story of it, then definitely keep watching. So we'll kind of take this back all the way to grade seven, eight, grade six, because that is the year where they had the opportunity to skip a grade. Now I actually went from grade six to grade eight. I never did grade seven. Circumstances just allowed for it where I was able to skip a grade. And that really helped me, I guess, get accelerated in my education. Now this was definitely a tough transition for me. I moved to a different school. I had to meet a lot of new people. Definitely hard for me to assimilate. Honestly, looking back, it was definitely a very good experience because it helped me grow as a person, but it also helped me grow in my academic life, allowing me to be accelerated uh, fairly obviously. And then in university, I was actually uh, accepted into the International uh, Baccalaureate program. Now this is kind of a rigorous program, definitely much harder than the regular high school program that you can that, that you take in, in regular schools, public schools, Catholic schools, private schools. Very hard for me to do, honestly, but I ended up leaving the program in grade 10 and switched to a private school. I did that for grade 11 and 12. And then finally, as some of you might know, actually, I was accepted into the uh, conditional admission to pharmacy program in the University of Waterloo. Now this is a six year program and essentially how it works is you have to apply, you're doing a supplementary application, you write your essays and then you come in for an interview. At the time it was an interview, now it's an online format where there is an ethical exam. You could search it up, I'll definitely put it in the description down below, but it's a six year program. They actually only take 25 students every single year from everybody that applies. So I was lucky enough actually to get chosen for the program. But again, it's a six year program split up into two years undergraduate studies and four years of pharmacy. Now, I did the two years of undergraduate school, which is actually the honor science undergrad. Now, conditional admission to pharmacy, the whole program is more like a contract. It's more like saying, you know, you do the two years in University of Waterloo, the undergraduate program of honor science, and then we'll take you into pharmacy, be it that you complete all the necessary requirements of doing your interview, actually doing well on your interview, doing a CASPER, with it, which is an ethical test, and then also like a mathematics test to ensure you're good enough in math to, uh, you know, you know, do, count pills, do, do regular things that a pharmacist might do. Now, actually, after I finished the first year of undergraduate school, of my undergraduate studies, that's when I realized that, you know, pharmacy wasn't for me and I wanted to explore other, you know, healthcare fields. And I solidified that I really wanted to be a physician. I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up. So I decided that instead I would drop the whole contract cap program, the conditional admission to pharmacy program, and continue on with my honor science degree. Now keep in mind, this was a very hard decision for me at the time, but really just sitting down, reflecting, and ensuring that you know this was the right move for me and this is what I wanted, that's, that's I guess why I decided to go through with it. Now the Honor Science program is a four year program and you might be thinking, well, then how did you get a Bachelor of Science degree? And that actually fast forwards me to third year of university. In third year of university, be it that I could have been in pharmacy school at the time, that's when I started to really look into the program and see, okay, how can I ensure that, you know, this program is going to prepare me well for medical school and to give me the best chances of getting in as well. I looked into it and I actually found that majority of the courses taken in fourth year of university were focused on, I would say, being like a chem major type of thing. Now, I love chemistry. I took organic chemistry one and two in second year of university. I actually did very well in them. I was a teacher's assistant. I took biochemistry in second year. I took uh, intro to intro to general chemistry, general chemistry two in first year. I, I had definitely had my fair share of chemistry courses. And even in third year, I took, you know, advanced biochemistry as well. But I, I felt that fourth year was, so to say, the courses weren't very beneficial for my future career path. So that's why I decided to, you know, opt for the three year bachelor of science program. I actually graduated in May of 2021. I graduated when I was 19 years old. So keep in mind, my birthday's in August. So the following August of, you know, August 2021 is when I actually turned 20 years old. That means that I actually entered university when I was 17 years old. So, you know, first year of university, I was 17. Second year, I was 18. Third year, I was 19. And the only reason why I was 17 years old was because of, again, I skipped a grade, skipped grade seven, went from grade six to grade eight. So that begs the question, you know, graduated in May 2021, you know, you know, what the heck are you doing with your life now? And two things actually, well, three things, well, four things. Well, first, obviously YouTube, you guys definitely know, I, I keep posting weekly videos based on study tips, study strategies, study techniques, tech focused for students. 
The second thing that I'm doing or that I finished already was programming. I learned how to program code with Python, Java, HTML, and CSS. So these are the coding languages that I actually learned and I learned them during fall 2021. The third thing is I've been involved with research since I was in first year of university. I've worked at the St. Michael's Hospital in the gastroenterology department. I've been working there since first year of university. Now I'm also involved in an anesthesiology research in Mount Sinai Hospital. I was actually supposed to be involved in a, you know, a full-time-ish research team in fall of 2021, even in, in right now in spring 2022, but that fell through the cracks just because of COVID and things didn't really work out and we got delayed. So I didn't want to wait up on that. So that's why, you know, I decided to apply to other positions, which is why I'm now working in Mount Sinai in the anesthesiology department. And then on top of that, I'm actually getting my piloting license. So that's essentially, I would say the focus is my piloting license because that's something I've always been interested in, you know, obtaining and, and getting to use really. Then one step further than that is research. And that's also something that very important to me you know i'm really interested in research especially gastroenterology anesthesiology and it's also going to help in medical school hopefully in the future then programming i already finished that and youtube programming youtube i say are definitely also something that i'm focused in so that's essentially what i'm doing with my life right now i have my three-year bachelor of science degree currently waiting to hear back from medical school I plan a master's programs uh, relating to teaching as you might might know i'm very interested in teaching because you know i have a youtube channel and the research that we do actually in anesthesiology and in gastroenterology is focused on teaching so that's also why i'm applying to you know a master's in education and yeah that's essentially that that sums up why i have a bachelor of science degree at 19 years old i hope this answers any questions you might have i assume there could be more questions definitely feel free to leave them in the comments down below message me privately if you have any questions always reach out to me you know I'm, i love hearing from you guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day take care and take it easy